Hello and welcome viewers in a detailed technical comparison between ducted and ductless air handling unit. Let me give an overview about how Almed equipment started to work on infection control. Our CEO, Mr. Zakir Hussain, met with an accident 15 years ago. After operating in corporate hospital also, he suffered with infection and had to operate again. During the research, he found out that airborne infection was one of the main reasons of infection and it was hard to control because of the duct system. He did the scientific study which is also published and made this patented system which is a perfect solution for airborne infection and it gives a 10 times better air quality on table. How does a ducted AHU works? Firstly, a ducted air handling unit requires a huge setup, which is a drawback of a ducted air handling unit. Here, the AHU needs a dedicated space. From there, the air travels through duct to provide the required airflow in the operation theater. Because of the air traveling, there is also an air loss. And to give the required airflow, it also requires more tonnage. In comparison to that, ductless system is a compact setup which occupies minimal space in operation theatre and provides direct airflow inside the operation theatre which requires less tonnage and has zero air travelling. Let's see how much space does a ducted AHU needs. For ducted AHU, a huge space is required like a terrace or a dedicated room. Hospitals have to give up their commercial space, which they can use for other benefits of the patients. Otherwise, with ductless AHU, just needs a wall or a ceiling, which is only 20 inches in depth, which saves a lot of space complexity for the hospitals, which they can use for the other benefits of the patients. The duct through which the air travels from the air handling unit to the operation theater is being found the major issue for the airborne infections. As the year progresses, the duct due to the negligence in the maintenance becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, viruses and molds. After a point in the life cycle of the duct, the ducts which were installed to control the airborne infections themselves become the source of the infection in the modular operation theater, which is quite deadly. These images of ducts that have neglected maintenance are horrifying and to imagine patients and hospital staff breathing air coming from these ducts feels like compromising their health and quality of life. Since no person can go inside of the duct, a procedure of a robotic duct cleaning is done, which is quite an expensive process and does not guarantee the satisfactory cleaning required to control the airborne infection. The robot only works in a horizontal surface and does not work on the vertical surface, leaving many parts of the duct not clean properly. The robots are not very efficient at cleaning the bends and does not clean the duct which leaves the edges and the bends not properly cleaned. The process of the robotic duct cleaning is also very expensive and time-consuming procedure without getting a desired output as the duct is not cleaned properly. In a ducted system, since the setup is so huge, not just the ducts but the air handling unit start to rust as well, meaning the air is infected before even entering in the duct. Temporary Solutions A dedicated team of the technicians for timely maintenance of the ducts and routine checkup for any malfunctioning. The cost of a team solely for the maintenance of AHU and duct will add up to an already super expensive setup. Every time the maintenance of the AHU and duct is being done, the complete setup needs to be shut down, meaning doctor cannot carry any operation during this period, wasting a lot of hospital's precious time. Adding a team of technicians for the maintenance makes the ducted system even more complex and burdensome. The increase in the cost of maintenance increases the cost of operation for the patient by putting a heavy toll on patients furthermore. The time taken during the maintenance which the operation cannot be done waste precious time of the hospital putting a heavy toll on doctors as well. 
permanent solution. The ductless approach gets rid of all the problems related to duct, as the system has no duct at all, and making all the problems related to duct disappear. Furthermore, the body of the ductless air handling unit is made of acoustic material and aluminium which gives a guarantee of lifetime of no rusting and for the maintenance only two pre-filter needs to be washed with soap water and reinstalled within few minutes saving a lot of hospitals precious time if we do a side by side comparison of the components of air handling unit a ducted air handling unit has a blower which is of 5 kW which means a power consumption of 5 unit per hour whereas in a ductless AHU it has a backward curved fan of just 0.2 kW which means a power consumption of 1 unit per every 5 hours a whopping difference of 25 times is being noticed between the two components making the ductless system very efficient system Ducted air handling unit requires a dedicated mixing chamber in order to maintain the indoor air quality. Air handling unit commonly have the provisions to allow the introduction of outside air into the operation theater, which exhaust all the air from the building. Whereas in the ductless AHU, it is designed in such an efficient way that it does not require any external mixing chamber as it takes 20% of the fresh air from the outside environment and the rest 80% by recirculating air from the lowers. Ten times better indoor air quality is provided by the deckless air handling unit. Class 1 near Plenum HEPA, Class 3 on the OT table, Class 4 anywhere in the room is provided. Whereas in the ducted air handling unit, Class 2 near the Plenum HEPA, Class 4 on the OT table and Class 5 anywhere in the room is being provided. Hello and welcome viewers. In a detailed 